Hello. In this section, I'm going to demo uh, how to uh, use SPSS in a virtual lab to conduct categorical descriptive uh, analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and log into uh, virtual lab and log into SPSS. And then I'm going to go to File, Open, Data. And I saved my Horizon data in the removable, removable thumb drive. So this is a removable disk E drive. So I'm going to hit on that. And you will be able to see my Horizon data is there. So I'm going to click on that and open the data. And this is a data view of my SPSS uh, Horizon High School data. I already did some labeling for my variables. I didn't quite finish, but I finished the major labels here. Um, and also, I signed the values for my categorical variables. Uh, what are the categorical variables? Uh, for example, gender, and you have male and female. And these kind of categorical variables with uh, numbers 1 or 2, but does not have true arithmetic meaning because one male does not necessarily mean is one point less than female, but it's just an indication that one is a category for male and two is an uh, indication of category for female. And other similar variables like, like grade level, one is ninth grade, two is tenth grade, and so on and so forth. And for example, free lunch, one is no free lunch, two is with free lunch. And these kind of categorical variables, the number value here indicates a category, indicates a number. And these kind of variables, when you conduct a descriptive statistics, you do not need to calculate the mean because the mean does not mean anything. For example, if you calculate mean for gender, you get a mean of 1.45. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything because one is male, two is female. We don't have anything in between. So you won't be able to in interpret anything like that. So for these kind of categorical variables, you just need to calculate the distribution for each category straight. Um, so I'm going to show you how I calculate the categorical variables in terms of the proportion for each category. So I go to Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequency. I'm going to calculate student gender and student, let's say, uh, student parent education level. Uh, so I put these two variables, and there's an arrow here. So for example, if by accident, if I did it wrong, I don't want to put parent education, I can hit the arrow, and it goes back to the overall variable. And this is the, col the column or box for me to calculate um, the frequency count. So if I wanted to calculate the free lunch status, I can highlight that one and put an arrow here and hit it into the box here to indicate I wanted to calculate these two variables. Um, I'm going to hit OK. <coughs> so you will be able to see there are two uh, tables here for calculation of the frequency of student gender and students' free lunch status. And for gender category, I have male and female. The only two columns I calculated are the distribution or frequency for how many males are in the sample and how many females are in the sample. There are 31 males and 68 females. And it counts for 31.3% of the total. And it counts to for 68.7% um, for female in the total sample. And that is the total of 100%. And for free lunch, we have no free lunch, and yes, with free lunch, and 47 uh, percent, uh, 47 participants, or 47.5 percent, uh, do not um, have free lunch, and 52.5 percent uh, has free lunch. So, in order to save this, you can go to File, Save As, and you can go ahead and save as a removable disk back to your removable desk, disk and save it as an output file for your later use. For example, if you want to answer questions, you can use that. Or sometimes I just click on Edit and Select All. And right mouse click, 
and say copy. And then it takes a while to copy SPSS file. And then I go to um, the Word document and then hit paste here. And you can paste it as a Word document or as a, a chart like this as a picture. And then you can save as a Word document for your future use. So you can save it into whatever you can save it into your computer here. That's where I did my stud stuff. So I'm going to save it onto my thumb drive again. So it's under here, under removable disk. And if I hit OK, and this table is already saved in Word document, so I can use it for future uh, reproduction purposes, so writing a paragraph or presenting the tables to my clients, or I wanted to remove it to, to do something else, I can do so. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.